Mona draws a diamond from a standard deck of 52 cards as shown here. Without replacing the first card, she then proceeds to draw a second card and gets a heart. Are these events independent? The two events are first, selecting a diamond, and the second event is selecting a heart given a diamond was selected and not replaced. Remember, independent events are events where an outcome of one event is not affected by the outcome of the other, which in this case, the outcome of selecting a heart is affected by the outcome of selecting a diamond because the diamond was not replaced back into the deck. And therefore, these events are not a dependent, they're actually dependent, where dependent events are events where an outcome of one event is affected by the outcome of the other. So because Mona does not put the first card back into the deck, these two events are dependent, not independent. So we answer no, the events are not independent. And now we're asked to find the probability of drawing a diamond and then a heart without replacement. Because the two events are dependent, not independent, we find the probability using this formula here, where if events A and B are dependent, then the probability of both A and B occurring is equal to the probability of A, the first event, times the probability of B given event A has occurred, which we indicate using this notation here. So the probability of a diamond and a heart without replacement is equal to the probability of a diamond times the probability of a heart given a diamond on the first card without replacement. So now let's find the probability of selecting a diamond from a standard deck of 52 cards. Well, there are a total of 13 diamonds. So there are 13 favorable outcomes. Out of a total of 52 cards, or 52 possible outcomes, and therefore the probability of selecting a diamond is 13 divided by 52. And now we need to find the probability of selecting a heart given the diamond selected was not replaced. Let's just say the first card was the ace of diamonds here. And since it's not replaced, notice how now there are only 51 cards to select from, which is why the two events are dependent. Of the 51 cards, notice 13 of them are hearts. So now there are 13 favorable outcomes out of a total of 51 outcomes. And therefore the probability of selecting a heart given a diamond was selected and not replaced is 13 divided by 51. And we can simplify before multiplying. One way is to recognize that 13 50 seconds is equal to 1 fourth, or we can recognize that 13 and 52 share a common factor of 13 where there's one 13 and 13 and four 13s in 52. Multiplying in the numerator, we have 13 times one, which is 13. In the denominator, we have four times 51, which is 204. So this is the probability of drawing a diamond and then a heart without replacement. But let's also convert to a decimal and a percentage. 13 divided by 204 to four decimal places is approximately 0 0.0637, which gives us approximately 6.37%. And now let's look at the situation again with replacement. Rhonda draws a diamond from a standard deck of cards. She returns the diamond to the deck and then draws a second card. Her second card is a heart. Are these events independent? So in this case, because she replaces the first card, which is a diamond, back into the deck, the outcome of the first event does not affect the outcome of the second event of drawing a heart, and therefore the two events are independent. So we answer yes, the events are independent. And because the events are independent, we use this formula to find the probability that both occur. Where if the events A and B are independent, then the probability of both occurring is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. So in this case, because we have replacement, the probability of a diamond and a heart is equal to the probability of a diamond times the probability of a heart. So we saw from the first example, because there are 52 cards, 13 of which are diamonds, there are 13 favorable outcomes out of a total of 52 outcomes and therefore the probability of selecting a diamond is 13 divided by 52. And now in this situation, the first card is replaced, 
So for the second draw, there is 52 cards again, and now we find the probability of drawing a heart. And there are 13 hearts out of the 52 cards, and therefore the probability of selecting a heart with replacement is 13 divided by 52. And again, we can simplify this a couple ways. 13 50 seconds is equal to 1 fourth, so this simplifies to 1 fourth times 1 fourth, which is equal to 1 16th. So the probability of setting a diamond and a heart with replacement is equal to 1 16th. Let's also convert this to a decimal and a percentage. 1 16th is equal to 0 0.0625. which is a percentage is 6.25%. So with replacement, the events are independent. Without replacement, the events are dependent. I hope you found this helpful.